Hey everybody, this is probably the last video you're going to see with this background because I'm moving and after this video, I'm packing up this studio. But I'll be back soon and it'll be bigger and better. In the meantime, let's look at this package that was sent to me in the mail. I didn't know it was coming and it came from my friends at Nerf. Voila! <laughs> Here it is in all its glory. I have not seen these before, and these look really, really cool. This is the Nerf Wild Venom Pack. Now this is interesting. This is the six plus easy play. These are not N1 darts. These are still regular darts. So the easy play system, it was the Nerf Elite Junior, and they kind of simplified that down, I think, to just be easy play. So that means these are not going to hit as hard, but boy, they look Really, really cool. I reviewed the Nerf Wild Shark Blaster. I love this kind of return to animals and play and other toys that are not necessarily blaster shaped. I'm a big fan of the old Max Force line and these ones especially give me a little bit of vibe to that Scorpion Blaster. I forget what that one's called, but I've done shorts on that before. I'll link to that and probably put a picture. Even though these look like they have a pretty basic firing mechanism. A lot of these old Max Force, not Max Attack, if I said Max Attack. A lot of these old Max Force blasters actually had really unique priming mechanisms. This one used this tail. The Scorpion actually fired from the tail. These look like they have kind of a regular priming handle and fire out of the mouth, but I still like the bodies and shells of these blasters a lot. Let's open these up and take a little peek. Hey, here we have the Venom Pack. I do love a Blaster 2 pack. It makes a great gift for a kid, for them, and a friend. So this is a two-shot Smart AR. I actually really, really like the shell of these. I love kind of the integrated leg cutouts on the body and the little claws down here, like they're holding this little bit of dart storage. The dart storage is a little bit loose, maybe. This came with enough darts to fill the storage and each blaster and an extra eight darts. So 20 darts all together. Looks like it has a nice big priming handle back here. It has that easy play extra wide trigger for two fingers to grab onto as well. This is not foam, this little scorpion tip. This is a hard plastic but it's kind of, it is kind of pokey, but it's buried, well, <laughs> it's buried enough that it would be, well, you could jab somebody with it, actually. Maybe it should have been foam. It would be fine. As kids, we used to climb trees, throw rocks at each other, and make weapons out of sticks. I, I think kids can handle a dull plastic fake scorpion tip. That's just my opinion as a modern parent here. I'm going to put one of these from the two-pack down so I can actually fire this thing and try it out. The, the prime is really, really easy and it snaps back into place and yeah, you know what? That actually, I feel like that's pretty easy to hit my target with that. I'm going to turn this around so you can see me shoot at the bear. A lot of the other stuff isn't here because I'm packing up, but let's, let's shoot at the bear. Shooting at the bear. Oh, above them because I might have been aiming a little high. Definitely not as much pop from that second shot. Let's reload these and... Look at that, on the bear, <laughs> and almost in the bear's mouth. So consistent, I'll give it that. Probably some of the more consistent from the junior line. Now I would have a lot more firing to do, but pleased at first go. Just for funsies, let's fire the other one. Make sure they're, woo, the same. Sorry, it's hard to aim behind a camera. Yeah, if we actually aim, it seems to work pretty well. So I fired off a bunch of rounds. Forgive me for not showing you, but I'm moving. Things are a mess. And with the included Nerf Elite darts, I did get one or two 39s, but for the most part, I had high 40s. Not that much difference between the top and bottom barrel. And when I used aftermarket darts, like Adventure Force Waffles, I did get a couple 50s, 48, 46. So on average, we were in the high 40s which is right on par with the Nerf Elite Junior and now the Easy Fire series. I mean, these are incredibly easy to prime and these are really fun. I would love having a little scorpion Nerf battle with my five-year-old niece. These fill uh, a niche for sure. I can see Beret running these bad boys in a war. Could you, oh yeah, <laughs> you could use the tails to, prime each other. So these could really, or the scorpion hook. Is that maybe what the scorpion's hook is for? Maybe. Anyway, 
You can definitely dual wield these too, so that's kind of fun. I don't know what the mod potential is. Typically, these have not, in some cases, had O-rings and have been a little harder to mod. I don't know if these don't. I haven't opened them up, but I'm sure someone will at some point. I like the colors. I like the style. I need to check the price on these. Right now, these are on for $14 US on Amazon. I would definitely recommend that for kids or if you collect and you just want like kind of a cool wall hanger or you want to go down the journey of actually modding these, how cool would these be to actually get up to like 100 FPS? I think for that money, you're looking at $7 a piece. That's pretty good. I can think of nothing bad to say about these. They do what they should do. Lots of screws. It doesn't look like these are clipped together and the quality feels pretty good too. So a glowing review here for the Nerf Wild Venom Pack. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Do you think there's a place for these? I know I do, but I'm always interested to hear why people don't. I know some people think that Nerf Blasters don't need to hit less hard. Their younger kids are already using them. I run enough parties and enough events that I see kids struggle with priming. Maybe not with how hard they're getting hit, but with the priming for sure. And other than a complicated ratcheting system, the easiest way to have an easier prime is to just make it not hit as hard. So I don't mind these at all. So maybe at some point you'll see some gameplay footage with me dual wielding these bad boys. And until then, I'll see you guys soon at the new studio. Take care. Bye-bye.